I have it too short. I'm have to Sorry, I'm just trying to learn how to do this. Maybe I've got tripody thing. Oh no, that's going to be too tall now. Let's see. Okay, I want to show you the project that I was working on. Um, so this is one of the indoor puppy kennels. Um, uh, I guess let me show you around first. <laughs> now that I got it situated, now I got to take it down. Okay, let's. See. Um, here. So, uh, this is what we call a puppy palace. This is one of the inside uh, puppy spaces, and it's got like a doggy door and it's heated and AC unit. The problem that we're having is uh, the dogs tear it up real easy. They tear it up. Um, oh, here, here's a good spot to show you what I mean. I don't know. I don't want to take this whole tripod thing down that again. You see? Mm, mm. Mm, take these off. Um, you see they tear it up, chew it. Um, and, uh, let me show you. Oh, we got, we got really cute little chihuahua puppies right now. You got to see them. And also, of course, our Panera puppies. There they are. Hey, they're always so happy because we bottle fed them. And then here is our mama dog with her chihuahua babies. Uh, we rescued um, 15 and then two were pregnant. So then we got nine more. But um, let me show you what I'm doing and why. Um, so, yeah, they tear these kennels up, these, uh, these walls, these... Um, backer board walls you know they're pretty at first but i don't recommend them at all anymore because they just it's constant repairs at least probably six times a year and uh, so we got these uh roofing panels donated and i decided to cut them up and just throw them on the wall and um i know they're messed up but by the time i'm done with them i'll get them cleaned up just wanted to see how it was going to look and how it was going to work and so far, I think it's going to be all right. Um, we'll see how I do around the doggy door here, though. That'll be something to figure out. But, um, yeah, anyway, I built this this whole thing. Um, it's not perfect. I learned YouTube. Te teaches me a lot. But um, all the fencing and all the... Um, everything is custom, really, for what we needed. Um, I'll do a quick tour, and then i got to get back to the thing. Um, that's also getting repainted. Uh, they used a chemical for cleaning and somebody forgot to wipe it down. Those volunteers. Uh, which we need. They're awesome. Uh, so there's a little quick view. Ooh, we don't need my face in there too much. This is the rescue outside. Here we go. And then um, that's one of the outdoor spaces. That's uh the mama's kennel that you just saw her nursing babies and then we got um this is the one that i'm repairing right now so i'm also fixing to do that wall right there again i'm hoping that i've got enough panels to do the outside there too see how they've chewed it up they chew it up easy quick I'm tired of replacing it uh, i wish i could just rebuild the whole thing and block like i did here the outside there's our Panera puppies outside. But, um, now they've got a little ramp and a little doggy door and all that. I build all that concrete. I do my... Hey, you guys brought your bed outside. That's not where it belongs. Your bed doesn't come outside. So, anyway, that's the rescue. And that's what I'm in the middle of doing. I'll, um, give you guys a, uh, before and after when I get it all done and cleaned up. It usually looks all right, and hopefully it'll last a lot longer. I got to figure out the the caps. If you guys have any, um, I'll show you if you guys have any advice on that. I figured I would get some um, PVC piping for this part right here to cover to cover this part right here over it. Yeah, or I could cut um I can cut a half off and cut it. Yep. So anyway, 
that's what's happening. And uh, that's what I'm doing right now. I just kept on cutting three more pieces. 